Hey there everybody, it's Brian and I'm in Highland Park, Illinois, pretty close to the downtown area. And from what I can tell, I think they were here not too long ago. It's still warm. Actually, technically, they were last here in 1875. This is the Stoopy Family Log Cabin in Highland Park, Illinois. And this is a pretty cool piece of history. This cabin was built from all the land that was uh, used to be forest land around here. And uh, the Stoopy family got, I believe it was about 150 acres of land. Uh, this whole section of Highland Park here was cut out by glaciers way, way back in time. It says the Potawatomi were the last to leave the area after being forced to sign a treaty in 1833 after the many indigenous people were removed. The fertile soil, forest, waterways, and natural resources attracted many pioneers, including immigrants from France, Prussia, Luxembourg, and Ireland. They were here to settle the land. Here's some guys actually cutting the timber for this cabin right here. Let's take a look inside and see. Oh, look. They still have their bed. They have some tools. Got a ladder going up to the loft area up there where you can store stuff, making the most of the space. Take a look over here and see. We should, we should probably check and see if anyone... Hello? Hello, Stoopy family? Oh, uh, no, I don't think they're here. Let's take a look in this window over here. Here we go. Oh, look, there's the fireplace. I don't know if you can see that off to the right. Nice, cozy. Could you live like this? Like they did back in the 1850s? I don't know. I think I probably could, as long as I could somehow run some electricity. Uh, here's the uh, back of the fireplace with the chimney. Got to have a chimney. And as we go around here... Look, they still left their pot. Maybe they were making some chili in there. White chicken chili, or maybe they were washing out clothes over a fire back here. Let's check this out back here. Oh, they've got like a little... Hello? Hello? We come in peace. It'd be terrible if I got an ax through the forehead or something. Oh, look. Oh, cool. You can see even better back here. Sure. Yeah, there. There you got your fireplace. Got like a, off to the left here, I don't know if you can see that. There's like a, a little door there. I don't know if they would use that to put the firewood in through there or not. Nice hardwood floor. Don't get hardwood flooring like that anymore. No siree. There we go, I'm not sure what that is. But if you like like, uh, you know, Little House on the Prairie and all of those kind of shows, this is what they used to live in. This is this is this is the foundation down here, and then they do the nice foundation on the bottom, and then you start putting your logs up there. That's the way I would do it if I were building one. What can I say? And then this back here is obviously grown up a bit oh, through the years, but as we come around this way, got a nice little bale of hay in case you got a horse. Uh huh. Some pictures of some people from that era. I gotta say, they don't look too happy. No, but I'm sure they did the best they can. By the way, just a tip, tip for you kids starting out at home. This is the way you're supposed to hang your horseshoe so the luck doesn't run out. Got it? Good, there we go. And there is, oh, there's a train station right across the street here. That was pretty high tech for the day, I'm sure. But the Stoopy family were long gone by the time that came around. Pardon the noise. Look, there's a rock. The log cabin was built in 1848 by the Stoopy family who received the Exmoor property as a government grant of 160 acres of virgin timber land. The building is made of hand-hewn logs from trees fill, felled in clearing the land for farming. The cabin originally stood on the site of the Barker Baker Cottage. It was used as the Stoopy home until about 1875, and then as a farm building until 1896. Thank you, Train, for interrupting the vlog. 
Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> anyway, I hope you envisit, I hope you enjoyed our visit to the Stoopy Family Log Cabin. And with that, I'll say, there you go. I'm out here freezing my butt off so you don't have to. Join me again tomorrow. We'll check out some more cool stuff. Okie doke, okie doke. Bye bye.